Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brina and today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved these super voluminous heatless curls using these Velcro rollers that I got off of Amazon. I don't remember exactly how much they cost, but I do remember that they were very cheap and I will put a link for them in the description box below. I do have another video where I'm testing these curlers out for the very first time. You can check that out up here. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved these curls, keep on watching. So my hair is already very slightly damp. It's probably about 90% dry. I went ahead and washed it this morning. I like doing these curls best on clean hair. I just feel like they turn out better, they form better, they last longer, but you can always use a spray bottle to get your hair wet if it is not wet obviously. So these rollers come with three different sizes and today I'm going to be using mainly the bigger ones but also a few of the medium sized ones. So to start I'm gonna take one pump of some hair oil. Doesn't matter what kind. I'm using the Whey Rose Hair and Body Oil. I take the tiniest amount and then just put it through my hair. This will help prevent frizziness when we take the rollers out. And then I'm gonna brush through everything to make sure there are no tangles and to help disperse the oil evenly. And then I'm going to start by taking a section of hair right here at the top of my head. Obviously, if I didn't have bangs, I would be starting here here but since I do I have to start back a little bit further and I always like to make sure that the section I'm working with is tangle free. It makes it easier when you take the roller out if your hair is tangle free obviously. And then I roll the roller up the hair and once I get to the ends I start rolling it down and then put the clip in and then I'm going to take a section directly behind that first roller and repeat the same steps as I did with the first one and I'm only going Going to be using the bigger rollers on the top of my head here. I'm going to be using the smaller rollers down here to help add volume to the hair and to keep the curls from being all the same size so they don't just form into one massive curl basically. And once again just repeating the same steps as with the first one. And I just realized you can't see what I'm doing up here so I'm going to adjust my camera real quick. All right let's try this again. And one thing that I have found when using these rollers is to make sure I don't pull the hair too tight when I'm rolling it. Otherwise, it makes it really difficult for me to get the rollers out. So keep that in mind. Okay, now I'm going to do upper section. And this time I'm going to take a medium roller. And you really want to be mindful of the size of sections you're taking. Because if you take too big of a section, it will just fall right off the roller. Or the hair will take forever to dry. So I like to take relatively small sections but keep in mind that my hair is thin so this might look like a big section but it's really not <laughs> and just rolling that one into place there and then I'm gonna do one right below that one this time I'm going for a big roller and my hair does have some breakage on the bottom right here so it's a little bit more difficult for me to roll these ones but it's fine. And then I'm just gonna basically keep repeating this process throughout the rest of my head. One thing that I do really love about these rollers is that for some reason they make my hair dry insanely fast. I put these in the other day and my hair was about as damp as it is now. I left them in for about four hours and I probably could have taken them out sooner but I just wanted to make sure that they were completely dry. Okay, so I realized after I put the last two rollers in that I wasn't actually recording, but same process as everything else. I used the medium sized ones for the bottom two sections and they were relatively big sections. I wouldn't normally take bit that big of sections, but there's a lot of breakage down there, so it's not very thick. And I was on my last two clips that come with the rollers, so that is also something to keep in mind. If you have a lot thicker hair than I do, you might need two sets of rollers or at least some other clips of your own because I do have plenty of rollers left, but since you get three different sizes of rollers to go with one clip, sometimes you run out of clips. I do wish that these rollers had larger clips that would go all the way across the roller, but 
I'm not gonna complain too much. I got these super cheap on Amazon, like I said in the intro. I'm gonna let these sit in my hair for a few hours. First, I'm going to add some hairspray. And then yeah, I'm gonna let these sit for a little while. I'll have to come back after a few hours and we can take them out. All right, so it's been a few hours and I think they're all dry. I'm not sure if I'm the only one that has a really hard time figuring out if my hair is actually dry or if it's just cold whenever I'm doing heatless curls, but I think it's dry. I also want to mention that I did just give it another spritz with the hairspray before I sat down to take them out. So keep that in mind. So let's get to taking them out. And I always like to start on the bottom because obviously it's much easier <laughs> than starting at the top. So I'm gonna turn around. Also, we're just gonna pretend like my shirt is not completely covered in cat hair. All right, and now that they're all out, I like to kind of rake my fingers through and reshape the curls. So I'll go through and find any that aren't looking very good and twirl them just to help add a little bit more definition to them. I swear my hair does not look this shiny in real life. I don't really know why it looks this shiny, but whatever. So I ended up with a little bit of like a kinky curl right here so what i would normally do is just leave it <laughs> honestly <laughs> i don't really care that much but if you really want to you could go back in with a curling iron or something a curling wand just to fix up any curls that don't look the best but like i said i don't really care and once i get the curls looking how i like them go back in with more hairspray Now, obviously you could just leave your hair how it is like this, but I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. So this is the finished product. I really hope you enjoyed the super simple, voluminous curls hair tutorial using my Velcro rollers. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Comment down below if you would like to see more of these heatless curls tutorials from me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.